Hey guys, Mike Murphy here, head coach at All-Star CNC Products, and today we're going to look at the five different groups of products that we've developed over 25 years, uh, all helping the owners and operators of CNC routers to maximize the vacuum effectiveness that they have on their CNC machines. If you can't hold the part, you can't cut it, and all these products are intended to help vacuum clamp systems. Uh, the first one we'll look at is what we call a grid gasket grid gasket goes into the grid of the table itself. Uh, machines these days are all milled to different channel dimensions. Uh, that's why Ulstar carries both square and round products. We find that the square gaskets work best in the square channels, round products in round channels. Uh, that way we're just filling the channel completely. Uh, square channels, very common size these days, the quarter inch wide by quarter inch deep channel. What we try to do, quarter inch wide channel that should take a quarter inch wide gasket that way you're not stretching it in there you're not mashing it in there uh, nice even fit and then the height should stick above by about a sixteenth of an inch uh, and that sixteenth of an inch clearance is going to create your vacuum seal all the way around the table uh, get a good foundation of the house so to speak vacuum clamp around the table uh, we can start working on parts after that but make sure you get that proper gasket into the table uh, also known as grid gasket and uh, we'll go from there after that So once your table is properly gasketed and we have a proper seal around the spoil board or fixture board, we want to start holding on to our parts. Um, as we found over the years, not too many people buy routers to hold on to spoil boards. You want to hold on to your parts. Uh, so what we're trying to do is take the same science of sealing the table, sealing the router with gasket, and now apply that to the part. Now that's a little difficult because the part is usually a moving target. Uh, how do we hold on to these parts? Uh, and are we making short runs, just a few of these custom items? Do we make production runs, a lot of the parts? Those are the types of questions we have to ask about how do we properly gasket for that part. Uh, for the folks that are doing short runs, custom parts, that don't have the time or interest to make a dedicated fixture, uh, we like to talk about spoil boards. Uh, spoil boards, we're gonna chew it up, we're gonna eat into it, uh, and the quickest, best way to hold on to parts using a spoil board environment is our onboard gasket. Onboard gasket material, self-adhesive, just sticks right onto the surface of an MDF spoil board, and by placing that onto a spoil board, we change the whole science of the table. Instead of a vacuum downdraft system that's simply gonna hold onto the part with a strong wind, what we're trying to do is create a vacuum clamp pull the air from the pocket that we've created with the gasket as a seal and make a true vacuum, void of material, void of, of atmosphere. And if we can do that properly, we can create a vacuum clamp that is far superior to just downdraft. A downdraft simply holds onto your part and I'm sure as you've noticed, as the smaller the part becomes, the more difficult it is to hold. When we vacuum clamp a part and we have the ability not just with downdraft, but vacuum clamp now. There's nowhere for the part to go because the air has been removed from this pocket. And not only do we have a vacuum clamp to prevent part movement, it's a true suction cup. And that makes a huge difference in your ability to hold a part. Uh, another great option for our customers doing the short runs, custom parts, uh, maybe find themselves in the nested base manufacturing environment is our tile gasketing. Uh, tile gasketing, another great solution uh, for vacuum clamp um, ideas. What we've done is put a quarter inch hole throughout a sheet of gasket material. Customers will cover their entire MDF spoil board with this tile material. Uh, first advantage, seals the entire MDF spoil board. Uh, what was a leaky surface, uh, constantly losing vacuum pressure as you start to cut parts, is now a sealed surface. Uh, second advantage, all of those suction cup holes that we have uh, to create the same kind of vacuum clamp system that an onboard gasket would produce, but now we have a mini suction cup. So all these holes, over 4,600 of them on a four by eight table, uh, produce tremendous vacuum clamp ability. So for those long, narrow parts, or trying to prevent onion skins and tab cuts, trying to get finished parts in a single pass, uh, the tile gasket concepts, great way to do that. Do it in tile form so that as one tile starts to wear, we can replace it one at a time versus resurfacing the entire table. Uh, great solution for those quick turnover, nested base manufacturing environments that still want vacuum clamp ability. The second type of customer that we have are the folks that say they're not doing short runs or custom stuff or nested base manufacturing, that they're doing production runs. Uh, the folks who are doing production runs 
I think should be looking at using dedicated fixtures. Uh, a dedicated vacuum tool for that specific job is going to pay off. Uh, folks talk about dedicated spoil bores. I don't like that term because we're not going to spoil a dedicated vacuum tool. Uh, when we're looking at creating the same part over and over again and we're trying to get maximum use out of our vacuum system, best way to do that is with a non-porous fixture board. Uh, in this case, we've got a Baltic birch, Baltic birch fixture, uh, not MDF because we're not going to leak vacuum through the sides. We're not going to leak vacuum through the tool channels as we start to cut our repetitive part. And what we've done is created a dedicated fixture. Create gasket, route a channel, put gasket into the channel, bury just like we do in the table underneath, expose a small amount above the surface, vacuum source hole through the, the fixture board because it is a non-porous material uh, so that we create vacuum clamp per part. Inboard gasketing, best solution for the long-term use of cutting the same part over and over. Reason being, by being in a surface, the gasket only compresses by 25%, 30%, depending on how deep you bury it. It's gonna last much longer, brings the part flush up against the fixture, creates a accurate Z depth for your parts. Uh, really the number one way to cut parts over and over again. Another great, unique solution that we have to offer customers is our cover gasketing. Cover gasketing for those folks doing the same part over and over again, but maybe the really small parts. Uh, obviously, the smaller the part becomes, the more difficult it is to hold just because of the limited surface area of those items. Uh, so if you're trying to cut this star shape, very small, tight angles, very difficult to gasket uh, in one of the other methods, what we provide to those customers is our sheet gasket material. Uh, again, a dedicated fixture, so we're not going to use an MDF spoil board. We're going to use a non-porous material, in this case an HDPE. It doesn't leak vacuum, uh, so we have max maximum use, maximum vacuum pressure uh, through our system that we have. The gasket material, uh, operator will lay it out, use the own CAD program that he has to create his own pocket, his own tool channel, downsize that program to make a smaller pocket to the inside, and we've made a custom gasket pocket for whatever size shape based on the CAD work uh, that you have there in shop. So all intending to maximize the vacuum surface area for those smallest of parts. They're the ones that are gonna give you the most trouble. Cover gasket is the option to really maximize that area. Uh, any questions, give us a call. So that's a quick recap of the five different product groups that we've developed over the last 25 years uh, in an attempt to help owners and operators of CNC routers to maximize the effectiveness of the vacuum systems that they have. Again, the first item, the grid gasket for the table itself, the onboard gasketing and the tile gasketing for those customers doing the short runs, spoil board environment. And then we have the inboard gasketing, the cover gasketing for those folks doing repetitive parts over and over again. Uh, ultimately, it comes down to holding the part, right? If you can't hold it, you can't cut it. And it's ultimately a pass-fail test. If you can hold the part, great, keep it up. But if you can't hold the part, it's because the vacuum isn't working well enough. And the only way to improve the effectiveness of a vacuum is with gasketing. We need to create more seal. We've got to prevent vacuum loss. And the more we can do that, the better we are at cutting parts, the faster we are at cutting parts, and the more return on that router investment you're going to make. So give us a call at 800-878-7827 or visit our website, allstarcnc.com. We'll do our best to make sure that you get maximum use out of your CNC router.